why I think pot should be legal, or uh, we might also call it Earl's Two Grateful Dead Concerts. Uh, so my first Grateful Dead concert uh, I went to as a, a participant, and uh, people were smoking pot, it was just like, just, the whole place was just like a fog of marijuana smoke. And uh, there was a, a, in the stadium, a full of people, packed, um, you know, knees to back, you know, back to knees, and a uh, hot day, and uh, people were passing around sunscreen, sharing food, um, complimenting other, uh, other people, um, talking to one another, singing and dancing together. Um, Helping each other, uh, you know, find things or uh, locate other places, uh, looking after e you know, each, each other's stuff. Uh, at one point in time, it was like a long concert. <laughs> at one point in time, I kind of laid back uh, on uh, my girlfriend that I was with, and uh, I was reading a book, just listening to Grateful Dead. And someone leaned forward and, like, patted me on the shoulder and said, I really love this beautiful vibe that you put out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was so nice. I was just like, yeah, man, thanks. And uh, then when we all left, you know, just thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of just really baked uh, people. Um, it was just really kind of like slow processional out of the parking lot. All these people like filtering out through just a very few exits. Uh, calm, waving people in, joyful. Uh, everyone's mellowed and... Uh, and loving one another, um, and uh, then uh, my second one was I, I worked there. My second concert, I, I worked there as uh, event security, and uh, I was told like you're not there to hassle anybody. You're there to help everybody. Um, so uh, just think of what you could do to help them, and make sure that uh, part of that is uh, that no one gets hurt. And uh, yeah, it was a great time. It was, it was a lovely job. Everybody I interacted with um, understood that whole, like, uh, we want what makes everyone happiest. We want what's best for everyone. Um, I'm here for your safety. I'm here to help you. And people really got it and were really supportive. And, uh, yeah, it was good. Now, I've been to a couple uh, major uh, football games. Um, where there was just as much alcohol being consumed as there was pot being consumed at the Grateful Dead concerts I went to. And the vibe was different. And I know it's a different event, it's almost glad, uh, like a gladiator style uh, uh, event, and that's going to have like uh, a high energy. And, but it wasn't the energy. Uh, I liked the high energy, and I kind of felt that there was a similar high energy at the Grateful Dead concert. Um, but there were fights, uh, there was obnoxiousness, I saw people throwing things out of anger that someone didn't score, they just chucked something straight forward into the crowd to hit whoever. Uh, there was lots of police there, uh, leaving, there was traffic jams, snarling, uh, more fights, more police, uh, there were accidents, um, you know, people were way too drunk to drive, um, I saw people, uh, I saw people essentially pass out behind the wheel. Um, locked in their car. <laughs> oh man, it, it was nuts. And uh, this is the whole idea. I guess in, in a way I'm saying that uh, um, how could we have uh, you know alcohol be legal um, and not have pot be legal? I mean, the, the whole idea is like, like, <sighs> man, I really love geese. They're so beautiful. You know. <laughs> We don't want that. Don't want people relaxed and out enjoying geese. <laughs> oh man! Not to mention the fact that uh, if if you're making something illegal and uh, that costs you a fortune, um, but if you made it legal and it would make you a fortune, um, like you know, go figure. Figure that one out. I can't figure it out. All right. See you in the tubes.